I prefer that when someone first sees something of mine that they aren't confronted with the junk concept. I want it to be what it is now. But I like that kind of slow reveal of, hey, wait, I recognize that. And it does give me pleasure to be able to say that these things are almost entirely found. There's very few made elements in them. But the whole sort of green cachet that I get out of these things is really an afterthought for me. It's not, it's not why. I just enjoy cobbling out of existing shapes. So the scale of the objects I collect and pieces I produce are kind of dictated by the shape and size of this room. So this is the comfortable area of scale to work in. Aluminum having a recycling value, you can get it more places. A broken wooden chair disappears from the earth as soon as its leg snaps. So these are actually more precious than the metal. So do you feel like you have a personality in mind when you create them? They all, they all seem to think they're tough and none of them are. And I guess that's the, the theme that tends to tie them all together is a kind of hollow bluster that I guess I kind of relate to. To be 100% honest, I, I really work kind of blind. I'm digging through stuff and s something will just sort of switch the light on in my head and I'll decide, oh, this would be really cool if I turn this into this, and then I'm sort of off. And there aren't a whole lot of conscious decisions through the process. Uh, bigger pieces require more forethought so that they don't fall apart. I have to think more steps ahead just for them to be structurally sound and safe and all of that. As with all these pieces, though, the majority of the time is spent in ways that people never see. There's a crazy amount of structural work underneath this table so that it looks like he's standing on a table, but there's really an aluminum frame with wheels and things so it's sturdy and safe and can be moved around. Um, and the same is true around back, mounting all this weight and moving parts that the wood itself couldn't handle the stresses. So the interior had to be framed out in metal and, you know, all of this will disappear from sight and it will look like arms stuck on an old radio. So the contrast will be sort of a cool, cozy lit, safe environment within this big, clumsy, sort of angry thing. Um, ideally, this is what catches your eye from afar and you're drawn in with one expectation and then I, I hope, given sort of a balancing experience once you're close enough to see it. So it would have that kind of dichotomy. But it's too soon to say if that's working, so that's just the plan at this stage. <laughs>